Also coming into Conference USA, their first year, we'd like to welcome head coach Carl Pellini of Florida Atlantic. Carl, good to see you again, my friend. It's been a long time. Thanks, Ron. Also joining us today, one of the stars of the defense, Randall Johnson, one of the linebackers of the team. Randall, good to have you here. How you doing? First of all, last year, your first year, you and I were just chit-chatting about this. What did you learn as a head coach last season? How important the morale side of things are. You know, as a, as a coordinator, you know, you're, you're into the X's and O's, the motivational side, all that. But, but as a head coach, you know, it seems every decision you make affects how the team operates, how the team, the togetherness side of it, all the team building things um, that you can do. And so you, you really start to think about the psychological mm -hmm. side of the game a lot more. And, and I think that's one thing that, that I learned a lot about as the season went on last year. I don't mean this to be negative, but is that something you may have taken for granted when you were at Nebraska with your brother? I think so. Uh, I think he put a lot of time into that. Um, you know, and, and when you're rebuilding at school at, like Florida Atlantic and, and you're taking a program that's here and you want to be here, the improvement side of it is so important. Daily improvement, that daily grind, improvement every practice, improvement every meeting, but also knowing that, that maybe the wins aren't going to translate immediately, right. but you start to think so much about how to keep the players engaged. Well. I was very fortunate to have a group of young men who stayed engaged the whole season, and so that improvement happened for us. Randall, we were talking about the improvement. The good news, the defense, you improved national ranking by 20 spots. Mm. What has he meant to the improvement in defense? He meant a lot. He's a defensive-minded coach. And we just bought in as a team, as a defense, and we just came together. Now, a couple of years ago, you, you were second on the team in tackles. Uh, being healthy for you. That's the key to your success, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I got to stay healthy this year, and I had a good summer the whole summer, so I should come out good in the camp and have a great season. Is that why it seemed like last year you you never really got it in gear? Yes, is sir. that fair to say? Yes, sir. I had a lot of nicks and ticks, so this year I will have a great season. One of the keys, I think, when I when I look at the numbers and look at the obviously highlights from your team, getting pressure on the quarterback mm -hmm. this season. How important was that in spring? It was important, and I think we made huge strides in the spring. And, and having a few guys like Randell healthy again, and, you know, one thing you, you talk about health and, and for someone who's been in a scheme for a long time and you get nicked and nicked up, and, right. you know, that's one thing. But for a guy like Randell and a couple other players we had defensively last year who were hurt during the learning process of the scheme, it really affected the season even more. So we've been healthy, knock on wood, so far this off season got all of our guys back, had a tremendous spring, and um, really became more aggressive as a unit, not only in terms of pass rush, but in terms of defending the run and the pass, and um, made huge strides in that regard this spring. We think we could be a team that could really cause problems for offensive lines this year. 12 mm -hmm. sacks last year, that, that's not going to cut it, is it? No, it's not, but, but you also, you know, you got to look at a, a group of guys up front who were pretty tentative because everything was so new, and I mm -hmm. think we got more more aggressive and, and as a team as the season went on but you see them operating now at a whole different confidence confidence level because the potential for some pass rush guys is there we got some great speed on the edge and we got some d tackles who can run um, so it's going to be it'll be a different story for offenses against us this year because you probably couldn't have put your whole defensive package in last year because as you said <laughs> he starts smiling already be because they were still learning, and, and you start to play tentative then. They, they don't play fast at that point. That's exactly right. And, you know, um, we, didn't, we didn't get nearly into, you know, what we were able to do this spring. And, but it wasn't just a matter of the players learning. It was a matter of bringing in four, uh, albeit very talented coaches, but from different programs, right. different schemes, and <clears throat> trying to get on the same page. So last year was a great learning curve for the coaches as well as the players. But... This spring, I think you really start to see it come to a fountainhead, you know, and, and really start to see the improvement we expected to see. So I'm excited about our prospects as a defensive unit this fall. Randall, from, from that same standpoint, did things start to slow down for you, knowing that you knew the system now a lot better than you did a year ago? I mean, is, is it starting to, to click inside? Yeah, when, when they first came in the spring, it was kind of shaky, moving from a 3-4 to a 4-3 right. to a 4-3 and all different type of defenses, it was very different, but we stuck together, we went through it, and we had a great spring this spring, learned all the ins and outs of the defense. What did you know about him before he came to the school? 
Nah, I just know he was the head coach of Nebraska. They're better. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yeah. That's all you knew? That's How it. long did it take before his personality came out of the practice field? Fast. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped in the fight. <clears throat> and I'm like, yeah, he, he ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carl, when I look at your recruiting class, I, would, I think it's safe to say it's probably the best in this school's history. Yeah. How pleased were you? Very pleased. Um, you know, first year we had a good one, even, even better this year. Um, you know, having an opportunity to evaluate talent for that year really made a difference for us. Um, we were very excited about the class. Um, and, you know, it's a very talented state, and there's so many good players. Uh, but we, we have an advantage. You know, we can get out on mm -hmm. Thursdays. We practice in the morning. So Thursday afternoon in season, we can get out and watch practices within two or three hours of us. And we did it. And so we really spent a lot of time evaluating the talent and really were able to unearth a lot of players and um, really start to get in intricacies of it, they're, they're how they are in a classroom, how they are as people, right. how they are as leaders, and really get to know them. But, you know, being there right in the middle of such a talent-rich area, shame on us if we don't. It's know. slowed down for you, too, almost. I mean, now that you've kind of got your feet underneath you, that you can start concentrating on areas that you see you have to concentrate on. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just the job in general has slowed down for me. Um, really understand it a lot better. Have a great staff that works hard and great group of players that, that have really bought into the program. and um, It's made things very easy for me. Five of your first six games on the road. Yeah, how about that? I have never in 30 plus years have ever seen that. No, but you know, we're road <coughs> warriors, aren't we, Randall? Yes, and uh, and uh, we don't, you know, we don't worry about it. We just do it. We worry about one game at a time. And um, you can say that, but really three three games you know we have the south florida game the miami game and, right. and the home <clears throat> game against middle tennessee where we will have a sizable home crowd there at mm -hmm. the game and a lot of support there so um we think of it more we have three of our first six in south florida there you go <laughs> <That's right. laughs> that'll work before we let you go the areas of concern that you say you talk to your coaches and the players we've got to improve on this this and this for us to have a winning season this year well, I think um, for sure we need to be able to put pressure on the quarterback defensively, and I, and I think we have a good plan to do so, and our players are ready to do that. Offensively, I think we need to run the ball better than 114 yards a game, um, and I think that's going to – my third point would be the offensive line. I, I think we're a very talented group, probably as talented a group as, as they've had at Florida Atlantic. Um, but it's young and relatively inexperienced. So I think as quickly as they gel, so our offense too will gel. Did you get together with the Stoopses and your brothers play a little bocce ball this summer? No, I did not make you it didn't this make year. The I was this at year? my son's national baseball <laughs> tournament, so that was more important to me. I'm sure they talked about you during that oh, time. Oh, yeah, they did, I'm sure. Carl, it's great to see you again. Thanks. Much success. Randell, thank you for being with us. Look forward to seeing you guys during the season. Thank All you. Right. I appreciate it.